Hi, you're listening to Small Things Often from the Gottman Institute, where we talk you through research-based tips to help improve your relationships in five minutes or less. Today's tip is about taking care of someone you know pretty well, someone who's very important in your life and your relationships, you. That's right, we said it, you, yourself. There are times in your life where you may feel like you lose yourself a little. Maybe you've just been promoted, but your job is so demanding you feel like you've lost all concept of time and space. Or maybe your dad is really sick, and you're on call 24-7. Or perhaps you just became a parent to a beautiful baby girl. And although you are over the moon with her arrival, she has colic, and you haven't slept in what feels like a hundred years. It happens. There are always going to be moments that require us to make sacrifices of our time and energy. It's admirable, and in many cases, essential. But if you're feeling any kind of resentment creeping into your psyche or any emotional distance or loss of intimacy in your relationship because of it, then whoa, listen up, because this tip is for you. And it all revolves around self-care. First off, what do you feel when you hear that word? Does it make you feel incredibly selfish, guilty, self-indulgent, cringy? You're not alone. So many people feel the same way. But the simple fact is, self-care isn't selfish at all. Taking the time for yourself to do something just for you is actually one of the best things you can do for your health and your relationships. Maybe belt out your favorite Adele song at the top of your lungs. Or go plant some flowers and feel the fresh dirt between your fingers. Or maybe take a couple of hours to play a round of golf with your friends, an activity you love so much but haven't done since your life turned upside down. The point is that anything that brings you joy not only benefits you, but all of your relationships. So here's today's small thing. Go nurture yourself. Pick one activity today that you love and carve out a time to do it. Because bottom line, the best thing you can do for your relationships is take care of yourself. Tune into the next episode of Small Things Often for another quick tip from the Gottman Institute helping you maintain and strengthen all of your relationships.